Well, one of them. Testing one. Testing one. Two. Now, uh, one question is to talk about gaps, and people have mentioned that they exist. They are the people in the know. How do we make gaps more apparent so that communities who want to tackle them can easily look at these different lists and resources and understand where they could apply uh, their strategies, techniques, ideas, and people communities? A fantastic question, and with many layers, I think. So um, let, let's see if we can get back to that later. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, I, I, you don't want me talking about this for the next half an hour. Niels, are we? Yes. Okay, Niels Kvazenga, and we'll be talking about Taxon Concept Schema, and Catalog of Life Data Management. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Niels Kvazenga. I work for the Royal Botanic Gardens Victoria and also for the Atlas of Living Australia. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was very jealous of Deb this morning when she completely disappeared behind the lectern because that's what I want to do now. <laughs> um, I'm also the chair of the Tedwig uh, uh, TCS maintenance group and uh, TCS2 task group. Uh, and that's the head uh, I have on now. So I've got the next slides before I. Uh, I get into uh, business. I'd like to uh, acknowledge the traditional owners of the country where we meet, uh, as the Muinina people, and recognize Aboriginal people's continuing connection to land, sea, waterways, sky, and culture. And I pay my respects to uh, elders past and present. Uh, this was not meant to be readable. <laughs> um, I should explain uh, TCS is the text from concept schema it's one of the uh, 2005 group of standards that are based on an XML uh, schema together with ABCD and uh, SDD with structured descriptive data um, and uh, so we have been working uh, the last three years uh, with the TCS2 task group on a new version of uh, uh, TCS. Uh, I'll give another talk about that this afternoon. Uh, and um, and turn it into a, a current taxon, uh, a current TEDx standard, which uh, can be maintained uh, following the vocabulary maintenance standard, and which is... Uh, uh, is more of a list or a vocabulary standard, uh, you know, with terms and definitions uh, like Darwin Core uh, and all the visual core uh, are now, uh, for instance. Um, so we're in the home straight, I hope so. Uh, and uh, so we're now actually looking around us, not that we haven't looked around before, and uh, try to well. Um, how well it fits uh, with other uh, things uh, that deal with taxonomic data out there. And uh, uh, the Catalog of Life data package is a, uh, is a prime candidate because it's the, um, uh, is the um, yeah, preferred uh, way of delivering data to the uh, to checklist bank. And, yeah, checklist bank is a, a really important piece of uh, infrastructure. I reckon it's really exciting. Um, so diving straight into, uh, yeah, so we're doing a comparison here, which we do have to do for the, um, uh, what is it? Uh, implementation experience report that we have to uh, deliver before the TCS can go to or TCS2 can go to review, public review. Uh, so these are the schemas, uh, so called EP has two schemas. Uh, so one of them on the, um, uh, on the right uses a name, uses it, and the one on the, uh, on the left uses it, uh, a taxon and, and names and splits it up, and that's what TCS does. Uh, 
Uh, I, I think it's fair to say that the name usage on the right is the Darwin Core Taxon, and the tax uh, and the Taxon on the left is the TCS uh, Taxon concept. And uh, I could actually stop right here and uh, and say that. Uh, uh, so this uh, schema on the left and TCS, they, uh, they correspond really, really well. Uh, but uh, I thought it would be illustrative to uh, uh, to show how you get from the name usage to the, uh, or from the Darwin Core Taxon to the TCS Taxon concept, or for the name usage to the Taxon uh, in Core P. So uh, here you've got the uh, Darwin Core Taxon that is all the, uh, has all the fields in the one uh, one table. Uh, there's uh, string fields, and then it has some IDs that uh, yeah that link to um, uh, you know that reference other tables and, or other classes or other objects. And uh, in the case of the Diamond Core Taxon class, those objects uh, don't actually exist, uh, exist in Diamond Core. So the name and the reference, which is most of the thing, they're not present in um, uh, in Darwin Core, and that's the uh, yeah, that's one of the reasons why uh, the Darwin Core taxon uh, does not work uh, so well with uh, uh, more graph-like formats like uh, RDF and JSON. Uh, so if we split off the reference first, uh, we get this and. Uh, I use the DC terms uh, bibliographic resource, but you can use the schema. Um, what is it? Uh, Scant, sorry. Uh, and that links to uh, the name according to and uh, uh, name published in properties. Uh, if we go a bit further and split off the. Oh, sorry, go back. Uh, and now you pretty much have the name usage that uh, that is in the catalog of life data package on the right hand schema uh, that I just showed, um, because that already splits off the uh, the references uh, because you can't read workers references in Diamond Core if you just associated references. Uh, so you split off the. Um, the name and the taxon. Um, so apart from the properties that moved, uh, you see also that I uh, crossed out the uh, uh, accepted name usage and replaced that with a, a taxon concept uh, ID. Uh, that's also a property that's available in Dharmacore uh, already. And the accepted name usage ID is uh, is really meant to uh, to link to a, a taxon ID in Diamond Core uh, or Diamond Core taxon ID, uh, and the taxon concept ID is uh, really meant to uh, uh, yeah to uh, reference uh, external uh, taxon concepts. Um, and uh, yeah, so now you've got the. Uh, are we not quite there yet? Uh, so you see that there's almost nothing left uh, uh, of the name usage, and apart from the uh, yeah, the text on concept ID and the text on name ID, uh, there's uh, there's only um, the taxonomic status. So, uh, and at the same time, this text on is still not. Uh, uh, is still not a, a, a TCS uh, taxon concept because the uh, the reference to the name uh, is missing. So let's fix that. And uh, yeah, so now we've, uh, we've got completely got rid of the taxon of the name of taxonomic name usage, and um, and we got the TCS concept or the called it be taxon. Uh, uh, the call DP uh, or TCS taxon name or call DP name, uh, and the bottom one uh, is the reference. So that is the 
yeah, so now you have TCS, but also that uh, left hand schema on the in uh, call DP, only in call DP, uh, since it is, um, uh, uh, what is it? it it's, a, it's a tabular format, so you need uh, uh, some extra tables or some associated tables to uh, deal with um, uh, many to many uh, relationships. So those are here. So that's a synonym table and a, a name relation a table uh, in call DP. So uh, I would see those as a uh, yeah, associated table that uh, should not contain uh, any data of uh, my own. And, uh, uh, and this is actually the area where I uh, uh, found the one thing that I is a problem uh, that I think is a problem in uh, the call DP uh, because when I start when I upload it, try to upload my data or map my data set uh, using uh, uh, the new release version of uh, of IPT which uh, thank you uh, which uh, um, which supports uh, uh, Supports call DP. Uh, I found that uh, uh, there's actually a, um, uh, the the ID on synonym is a required field, and that uh, was a bit of a problem because uh, a synonym that uh, that table is just an associative table, but not a synonym. A synonym is just a name, and should be dealt exactly the same as as an accepted name. And uh, so, if you use that left hand model uh, so and sort of related i also found if we got uh so this is one of the taxon concepts uh, uh that i have so it has an accepted name dichroloma dicarbon uh got a bunch of uh, that worked perfectly fine on my screen <laughs> um I, I hope the other ones are better because I get a bit more, a few more over the top. Uh, so it has these, um, uh, as a bunch of uh, heterotypic synonyms, which go in the synonym table. But then it also, it has a Bezier name. <laughs> okay, I might as well race through. It has a Bezier name, and the Bezier name is all the, uh, the accepted name is all the combinations except uh, for the Bezier name. And then all the synonyms might also have uh other combination they these things all go in the name relation um uh the name relationship and uh yeah and i found that uh when i upload my data set uh i got all these dangling names because the uh yeah checklist bank doesn't follow the um, uh yeah, a nomenclature of business rules to turn those into synonyms, uh, you know, in the front end. So uh, I got those, all these bad names. So I needed to do quite a lot of massaging um, of the data. And then, okay, I forgot one. Uh, so this, uh, my last slide. Um, and so if you indulge me a bit more, this is the front end of the uh, checklist bank of the same um of the same thing and i would uh just i would just like to point out that this top thing that's not the uh that's not the accepted name that's uh taxonomic uh the taxon concept uh label and uh i think it's uh, really important to uh, separate this to the taxon uh concept uh and uh, yeah uh, to, uh, to separate concepts and labels. I know a bit anal about uh, that. And uh, uh, so there's actually no accepted name in here, but at the same time, there's a nomenclature status, which uh, should not be in a taxon record, but should be in a, in a name record. So uh, I would suggest if you want to fix something, it's a really minor fix uh, is, uh, replacing that line with nomenclature status with an accepted name or a taxon name and then uh, do that the same as the synonyms with uh, uh, 
what is it with the with the name first and then the nomenclature status um, uh, in parentheses and then you get also you can also get rid of the that name detail uh, it says name detail right oh, the name detail button in the back uh, and I think that's a very minor change which in my mind is a massive improvement uh, this was a slide that I only put in if I had time. Uh, so I'll go straight <laughs> into the uh, acknowledgements. Uh, yeah, I'd like to uh, thank the members of the TCS maintenance group and uh, uh, also the members of the TCS2 uh, task group. And uh, yeah, we've had lots of meetings and a lot of good discussions. <laughs> and, uh, Thank you very much. So, um, I realise that we're we're into lunch, and the gulls are waiting for us to take it out to them. Um, is there anything anybody would like to ask of me?
Then you can send you okay.
because I'm on, I'm on, I'm on uh, data and I'm going to switch over to Wi Fi. So just give me one second. Okay, no
Thank you. 